what I'm going to do today is uh, just go over some MIG welding techniques, uh, what actually MIG welding is, how to set the machine up, and uh, little features like that. First of all, MIG, M-I-G, uh, MIG welding. It means metal inert gas. Uh, metal inert gas means that you, we use an argon or a CO2 argon mix, which is a little cheaper. Or you can even use a straight CO2. CO2 is just cheaper, more for industrial. Uh, what, the, what the metal inert gas means is you got, you got a wire actually that comes out here. I don't know if you can see this or not. It's done in, uh, when you pull the trigger out, it actually feeds the metal for you. So that's, that's where the, the metal comes, comes into play. And the inert gas is the gas that we shield it with. Okay, every welder is a little different. Most of your MIG welders you buy will have settings on them. This one here tells us by the setting by what we're doing. This actually is telling me that I want my, my uh, wire speed and amperage. So I'm going to set this at 19.0320, right? 19.0. And then they said this here, they want this to be ramped up to 320. And that right there, that's set up in a perfect condition for a quarter inch plate. That's what we're going to do today. What I have here, these are just test plates. These are just quarter inch mild steel, uh, quarter inch thick. That's what we set the machine on, two inch wide. I'm just going to do some tees and just show you a couple different techniques of simple MIG welding. The wire feeds all of itself. I'm going to do a striking arc and I'm just, I'm, I am just going to pull, do a simple pull weld. When I mean pull, the angle of the, the rod is coming out, it's going away from me, so I'm pulling away. That's okay weld. The correct way is to start and push. Actually, when you push, it actually drives the rod right into the puddle. But sometimes, depending on where you are with the MIG, sometimes you can't always push. So we're just going to do this a couple different, show you a different couple different ways. As you can see, stands up a little bit when you do that, so it doesn't flow down. It's really not the correct way, but it will get you out of a jam. This is a, I'm just going to use a whole new piece in case we want to come back and do something to that. That's what this is all about, is showing you how, how this stuff works. Anytime you end a weld, it always ends up being too long. Take your welder, cut it off. That thing will show you fly across the shop, so keep track of them. You don't want it to end up in your intake manifold or nothing. Your MIG welders actually are designed to push. They're much stronger being pushed. This thing, see, as you can see MIG, it sprays a lot and makes a little dirt. But that's the way they're designed. We're going to do a push this time. Last time we pulled, this time we're just going to do a straight push. See, I got my hand balancing it. It's all about being comfortable. Actually, this right here is actually a stronger weld because as, as the rod, as I was pushing the gun forward, it was actually driving the rod into the material. To me, it still looks like there's a little bit too much rod coming out, but it's still, for what we're doing, it really looks nice. A lot of people, when they weld, what they do is they, they really feel rushed. And truth of the matter, you're the boss. I mean, this, you, you're telling this guy what to do. Most people feel like, oh, I'm being rushed. This thing tells me what to do. But truth of the matter, I can pull the trigger and I can, I can sit here and do like this and just talk and carry on a conversation and, and nothing's going on. I mean, when I get done to it, it's welded. We're in charge of this machine. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna do some 
big wide, I'm gonna call this my ship weld. There's, there's a couple of different techniques. There's, uh, like I say, as you weld, I even tell the guys here that, even, that, that are even young and up and coming, when you weld what you learned today, your technique that you learned today won't always be the technique that you use. The weld will evolve to whatever, whatever it is that you're doing. Let me tack another piece here. There, there's different kind of welds, like when you're in a production shop, you wanna, you wanna be fast, you wanna be strong. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna strike our arc, we're gonna come back, and then we're gonna drive it forward. We're gonna come back and basically like preheat our metal and then go back in, back up, preheat and go back in. Back up and drive it in, back up, drive it in. This is a good production type weld. The biggest thing about MIG welding is you have to be comfortable. Uh, as, you're, as you weld, your techniques are gonna change a little bit. You know, this is something that comes from uh, several years of welding. So that I, have, I, have, I have evolved from different techniques. Push, pull, half around the pipe, up, try to go up the pipe. As you weld, you're gonna learn different techniques. Uh, like I say, the most important thing is be comfortable and it will all come to you in time.